Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about another form of equation of straight line which is the polar form. In the diagram we have a straight line A and we have to determine the equation of that straight line with some of the information that have been provided. For example, there is a point N on the line whose polar coordinates are P, alpha and ON is a perpendicular on the straight line A. That means lowercase p is the distance of the straight line from the origin. So the polar coordinates of N which are P, alpha P indicates the distance of the straight line from the origin and alpha indicates the angle that ON makes with the positive direction of x-axis. So the slope of the line segment ON would be tangent of alpha and now let's assume that there is a moving point or a variable point on the straight line which is R and its polar coordinates are lowercase r comma theta. So then what is the distance R? Well, it's quite not the distance. Well, it's the distance of the point R from origin that is the lowercase r. So let me make a quick note right here. So I have denoted that with a lowercase r there. So the distance of the point R from origin that is lowercase r and the angle that OR makes with the positive direction of x axis. So we can say that angle ROX is actually theta and then we know that the angle NOX is equal to alpha. So what would be the angle NOR or RON? So angle RON would be theta minus alpha. Think about it because ROX is theta that's indicated in the polar coordinate of R and then the polar coordinate of N says P comma alpha that means NOX is equal to alpha. So then the angle between R and N that angle right there which is angle RON that would be theta minus alpha. And now if you look at the right triangle which is RON in that right triangle can we say that ON over R is equal to cosine of theta minus alpha and from here we can say that on is equal to r times cosine of theta minus alpha and what is on well on is nothing but lowercase p that's the distance of the straight line from the origin which is assumed to be p units in this particular diagram so then p is equal to r times cosine of theta minus alpha and from here we can say that r times cosine of theta minus alpha is equal to p and that is the desired equation of the straight line in the polar form that's exactly what we wanted to derive this equation is represented in terms of alpha and p which are the given information p is the distance of the straight line from the origin alpha is the angle that on makes with the positive direction of x axis and then lowercase r and theta they are nothing but the polar coordinates of the moving point or the variable point Let's take an example. Suppose we have been asked to find the equation of a straight line in polar form with this information. Let's suppose the line is 10 units away from the origin. So I'm saying P is equal to 10 units. And please make a note of this P. P is always a positive number as I have described in the previous video also that P is always positive. So let me highlight this right here. P is always positive. It is always a positive number because it denotes the distance of a straight line from the origin. So the distance can never be negative, right? It's whichever way the line is oriented, the distance of the line from the origin will always be a positive number, right? So here in this example, we are taking P as 10 and let's take alpha as 30 degree. So now we have to come up with the equation of straight line in polar form. We know that the general form of equation of straight line in polar form is like this. It is R times cosine of theta minus alpha is equal to phi. And now if we substitute the values, we are going to have R times cosine of theta minus 30 degree is equal to 10. And that is the equation of the straight line in polar form where r and theta they represent the polar coordinates of a moving point on the straight line. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.